Hey guys, it's DC here. Today I'm talking to a bug bounty hunter who has gone from zero to hero in just three months. John, how's it going? It's going good, DC. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good, man, good. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. So um, I'm currently enrolled in getting my bachelor's degree in computer science with a concentration of cybersecurity engineering. And um, I'm a bug, bug bounty hunter and I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast. So how did you get started with doing bug bounties just to begin with? Like what sort of bug bounties have you started with? So some of the main bug bounties that I started doing were domain um, related because I really fell in love with web application testing. Ever since I started my like my learning path on Try Hack Me, learning the Linux command line, learning certain tools, I did some research. I was on Twitter, and the web application um, part of it it really interest it really like got my interest the most. <clears throat> cool. So mostly uh, web app pen testing is what you've been looking at and sort of focusing on. Yes, definitely. Cool. Okay. And um, I guess on to the next question: What is the process that you have for finding a bug? So my process in finding a bug is, so my main platform of, of choice right now is HackerOne. So I will go on the HackerOne platform and I will choose a program that interests me the most. And then I will get their domain started in scope and then I will start doing heavy recon on, on all their subdomains and regular domains. So the first thing I would do after doing recon is I will manually check with a tool that I use called Aquatone, it will take screenshots of the domains for me, all the live domains, and I'll mainly check for the vulnerabilities that I've started learning, um, started learning right now. So the main vulnerabilities that I know right now are XSS, IDOR, Open Redirect. So I will mainly check each of those websites with Aquatone to see if I can pop an XSS, get get an Open Redirect, or get an IDOR. And then if not, I will I will enter the um the domains into tools that I have like. Dialfox, Open Redirects X, and other tools like that. Okay, cool. And so you just sort of feed them into these tools and just sort of go from there, or is is there a bit more of a process to it? So I am really big on, I want to be able to manually check for them myself. I don't think that you should sorely rely on tools to do all the work for you. I'm really heavy on, so right now my process in um, XSS is I would check a domain, I would check the, I would view the source code, I will play around with the, um, with, with the domain, I would check the, um, the search bars, the, um, the, the, the user account, the password, and what I would do is I would see if anything reflects. If I see something reflects in, this, in the um, source code, I would, I would manually um, manipulate to try to um, try to break out the script tag and try to enter an XSS payload. Nice. And if that works, then I got the XSS. Hell yeah, awesome. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Um, okay, next question was, uh, how much time do you spend each day on bug hunting? I have a, a general awesome. grasp of this because I know how much time you spend in the server, um, talking with everyone else in there. So <laughs> yeah. So. So since I'm um since I'm currently en enrolled and getting my degree and now I'm full time, I make sure that I get all my work done first out of the way for that day, and then I will spend the the, ma the vast majority of doing spending the dedicating the rest of the day for bug bounty hunting, learning, doing research, reading write ups, looking at Twitter to see if anything, see if anyone posted some interesting topics or the vulnerabilities that I know to gain a deeper knowledge of them. Right. So, so quite a lot of time. Basically, yeah, <laughs> like a, yeah, a at lot, least a lot twelve of time. hours a day. <laughs> at least twelve hours a day for sure. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. Okay, um, that sort of explains how you've sort of gone from from the zero to hero in three months. Is it's pure time dedication and um, yes, yeah, dedication to learning. I guess that sort of pushed you on to there. Um, the reason yep. I should probably touch on that as well. Why um, we've, we're saying zero to hero um, is because you were able to get. A, uh, on your name on the uh, Hall of Fame for I can't remember exactly what it was. Do you want to maybe touch on that quickly? Um, so a month ago, I was doing a VDP on um, a Dutch university. The um, this the domain was uu.nl, um, and right. I was that was the first VDP I, I was ever doing after I did my research on how to like the, the methodology to it so while i was going through my aquatone the only vulnerability i knew was xxs so i was checking every every of their um subdomains um, manually for xxs and i stumbled upon this one domain that my my 
when, when I check um, to see if um, a parameter is getting reflected, I would, I would use the word test. And when I did that, I saw that test was getting reflected into the source code. Now, after that, I got really excited, and I was like, hmm, maybe I can find an XXX on this page. So I entered in just the basic the basic XXX um, payload. It was um, script, alert, um, one script. And I, for the first thing I had to do was break out, and then I entered that payload in, and right. then it popped. So at that moment, you're probably freaking out, going like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I was very excited. I, te- yeah. I DM'd everyone on the Discord about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man! All right, um, let's jump on to the next question, um, which was, "What are your computer specs?" That, that's a really good question because a lot of people. What I thought coming into bug bounty and hacking was, you had to have like this amazing computer, or you weren't weren't going to be able to do the things that other people were doing. But that's not the case. So, because right now I'm I'm rocking an AMD FX um, 8350, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a basic SSD and um, a GTX 960, and everything I do in my VM works perfectly fine, runs perfectly smoothly as well. Yeah, so that's bas- that's yeah, it's pretty like mid-level gamer computer spec, pretty much. Most definitely, it's, most yeah. definitely. Okay, sweet. That's It's definitely better than my computer though, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on this like terrible, I don't even know what it is, it's a Dell something <laughs> touchscreen 8 gig of RAM. Oh no, actually I upgraded the RAM, I think it's got 16 or 20 something gig i can't remember anyway it's a piece oh, there of you go <laughs> yeah it's terrible it's not a good computer um all right next question uh what are some of the learning resources you used to sort of learn bug hunting so some of the main resources i use was the first thing i did was learn the linux command line and i was using try hack me after yep. i got the linux command line down pat and i mostly understood what i was doing I moved on to watching people's vid- YouTube videos, their methodologies, how they would look for um, vulnerabilities inside of um, a program. And I also, a lot of people in your, in, in your Discord, they, they, they helped me a lot. This um, one, one person, his name's Neil Shaman. He, he really like took me under his wing and he like, he guided me and like he taught me what to do and what not to do and like different types of methodologies, different types of how to search for bugs and et cetera, et cetera. So like, I really feel like, go. Joining a community and talking to people is one of the best ways to learn on top of do, doing the research yourself, watching YouTube videos, and just things like that. Absolutely. Yeah, I have a, I, I did a video with um, Neo ages ago called Recon Sunday with Neo or something like that. It was so much <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah, I was watching that. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done one with him for ages, but I definitely should. I'm sure he'd be keen to, to have a chat and do it again. So yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do one of those down the line at some point, but we'll see. <laughs> Um, all right. Next question was, uh, what is your preferred language uh, at the moment? Computer. So language, right obviously. now, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't so be right saying now, like French or some shit because it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so right now I'm kind of torn between since since my favorite blog right now is XXS. I really love HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, especially JavaScript because I'm able to read i'm able to read and understand what the javascript's doing the the, um the code is doing but some of the code code, um programming language i'm learning right now is python javascript and that's it so far but if i was to choose one it would probably be javascript wow okay most people say python is their their all-time favorite and and all the rest of it so (laughs) it's it's good to finally come across someone who wants to break (laughs) away from the norm of python um, and jump into Java, especially Java. That's that's pretty interesting. So, cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, next question was, uh, what are the common tools that you use every day in your bug hunting, recon, the whole thing? Um, so my methodology, it consists of a lot of tools, like a, a bunch of tools. But for my recon portion of my methodology, the tools that I find myself the most use, the most inside my script is Passive Hunter, AMAS, Subfinder, and I'll, um, I'll use HTTP, HTTPX, I use Aquatone, Dalfox, um, Nuclei, um, I use Open um, Open Redirects X, I use GF, a new QS um, or replace. Um, those are mostly all the tools that I use for right now. And they're, they're really helpful. And like once you understand what they're doing and how they're working, and um, it's, everything's good from there. Oh, and I also use MassDNS. 
Right. Yeah, this sounds a lot like the tools that Neo uses. So it sounds like you've really yeah. got some. <laughs> it's exactly the tools that he uses. I know he uses those. So no, that's good. It's good to, I guess, yeah, pick up that knowledge from um, someone who does this a lot. So that's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. The last question was, uh, what are some useful tips for other people who are just starting out with bug bounties? So one of the bi biggest experiences I have with bug bounty hunting is you, you just have to start. You have to you have to find one vulnerability that you really you really want to learn. You really have fun with, and you want to learn everything about that vulnerability in depth. And that's really going to spike your interest for bug bug hunting and finding vulnerabilities inside of a program. Because once you land that first vulnerability, the adrenaline you get it's it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. I would also recommend using Try Hack Me, Pen Tester Labs, watching YouTube videos, looking at write-ups on um, Hacker One's program, Bug um, Bug Crowd Bug Crowd's program, and look. Another amazing site is called Port Swigger. They teach you XXS, they teach you XXE, a lot of stuff like that. All those sources, they're amazing. They're amazing sources that, that kick off your bug bounty um journey. Absolutely, yeah. And the only one I would add on to that, which you mentioned before but not in this question was to join a community that can really push you along to um, learn and sort of encourage you it's sort of like if you go to the gym on your own and you sort of get bummed out after a little while when you don't know how to use the machines like first time you've ever gone to a gym you have no idea how to use the machines you get pissed off with other people who are better than you and it, it's just it just sucks so if you go to the gym with someone who knows what they're doing and who can coach you it's, it's exactly the same thing with bug bounties, I find, where people in here can basically grab you and say, this is what you need to do. And they'll just push you into doing the exact right thing to finding bugs. And in three months, in your case, you were able to pop some pretty cool bugs there um, and get your name on a Hall of Fame, which is awesome. So, yeah, well Thank done, you. man. Um, thanks for having a <laughs> chat with me. It's been great. Um, yeah, I'll see you around. I'm sure I'll see you in Discord in the next five minutes or so. so yeah. <laughs> okay, you see. Thank you for having me. It was nice talking to you. No worries, man. Catch you later.